Look, Zack. We are heading for the dome. It was built by the first settlers. A relic itself. And what's there for us? According to reports, looters. Who, in our interest, it would be best to keep out of the dome. Go through here. Zachariah, do you remember your first lesson? On the scarcity of life? Indeed, the very one. Kill a fellow unfortunate and, in this hell, only the more alone we will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives. Approach our destination. Take note that enemy forces lie in wait. There, the rocky outcrop. Scale it and report back your findings. do this.
There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance, a lot of them, but they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won. Tell me I did not fail to train you better than this. Failed to teach you the value of life. Especially that of our own kind.
Sometimes I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our abilities are brought into the light, to the moment the light is snuffed from our eyes, the Technomancers are nothing but pawns on a chessboard. We have no free will. Abundance forces its will on us. I think about the future. How hard it will become as the ASC rises in power. Perhaps I'm just being paranoid. Forgive your master's little spell. You must focus on more important things. This door... It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. so old. It's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? Knowledge, Zach. Presence is a danger to the relics. We must seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. It was fascinating. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we are still faced with so many obstacles that we can't do anything with it. It's more of a danger for us than a tool. console over there. Activate it, and heed its words. Will do. Witness registration, March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized, pulse elevated but steady. Unaffected by any visible health concerns. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing and I feel like I can take on the world. And it's, and I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. 
Subject self-reporting is consistent and substantiated with our measurements of healing other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to the mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, is the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable of evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. This man talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if... I can't believe! And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers. Speaks of the first technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? I don't... but... we have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us, unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well. So have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now. More so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged. For we will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes. Yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so... Well, they must have breached lower in the dome. Then that's where we must go. I will divert the attention of these creatures. At the base of the dome, we will find them. If they have swarmed here, they must have dug a passage. I'm on it. 